Uh, Mr. Mayor, uh, you may not know this, but <clears throat> my family survived the Columbine school shooting. And so I, <clears throat> I would like to start today with a moment of silence for the victims of the Florida shooting yesterday. Father God, you are good and gracious, and we don't always see uh, your good in intent that often comes from tragedy. Lives were certainly changed yesterday, and we pray that uh, good will come of it. And God, I ask that you bless these uh, proceedings this afternoon and you use them to move the city of West Memphis forward. And certainly, God, uh, we treasure the chance today uh, as we celebrate Black History Month to look black back on the achievements of some of the city's outstanding citizens. Bless this time together and use it for your honor and glory. We pray this in the powerful name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. While we're still standing, I'll ask Mr. Jim Fivash if he'd come and lead us in our pledge. He's with the American, representing the American League. Jim. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, John. I call this meeting to order. Mr. Clerk, will you call the roll? Yes, sir. Mayor Johnson? Here. City Attorney Stevenson? Here. City Treasurer Martin? Is that what is he doing on me? Councilor Harris? Here. Councilor McClendon? Present. Councilor Mundy? Is out. Councilor Holt? Here. Councilor Croom? Here. Councilor Hutchison? Here. Councilor Robinson? Present. Councilor Catt? Here. Councilor Pulliam? Here. And Councilor Taylor? Here. We've got 9 out of 10 present, sir. Quorum President, we'll proceed with our meeting. <coughs> First item, agenda items we need to finalize. So we are back in regular session there. Next item on the agenda was the bid opening. The bid openings on, on grass cutting, on grass spraying, and grass mowing. I'd like those, if you've reviewed them, to be referred to administration for disposition. So Hello. moved. Second. All in favor by aye. Aye. Opposed, they are referred. The next one are ground maintenance <coughs> for grass at the industrial park. I'd like to refer it to economic development. So move. Grass mowing second. for the airport to the airport commission. So, so move. Second. Have a motion and second for both of them to be referred. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, they are referred. A copy of the minutes in the packet. Any additions or corrections? Motion to approve is submitted. Second. Motion to approve is submitted. All in favor by aye. Aye. Opposed, they are approved. No items of old business were brought forward on the new business. We have, oh, the first one is R1. Make, make a motion to read R1, O1, and O2 by title only. Second. All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed, read the title to R1. A resolution certifying the condemnation and removal of houses, buildings, and or residential structures constituting a nuisance within the city of West Memphis corporate limits. You've heard this title of this resolution read. Could I have a motion and a second to approve? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? It is passed. Would you give that resolution a number? I mean, resolution number 2162. Mr. City Attorney? Yes, sir. Would you read the title to 01? An ordinance for the adoption of the National Electrical Code 2017 edition providing penalties for violations of such regulation and for other purposes. That concludes the first reading. You want to leave it at that and have it on the next agenda or you want to read it out? That's fine. Let's, let's wait. Yeah. Just yes. leave it there and leave it there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we move on into 02. May I make a motion we table 02 until the next council meeting? Have a second. Second. Motion and second to table 02. All in favor by aye. Aye. Opposed? It is tabled until the next meeting. 
final statement of the community development uh, objectives and I need approval on that. I think all of you have participated in it and know what it's all about. I move we accept the statement as presented. Second. Any discussion? All in favor by aye. 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 Opposed? They are approved. That concludes items under new business. Moving on uh, in the committee reports. Fire? Yes, sir. Uh, we met on February 13th. There were no dismissals, dismissals, suspensions. There was one promotion. Uh, paramedic uh, on February the 3rd. We'll have a ceremony, not a part of March, uh, and recognize the individuals there. There were no hirings, no citizens complaint. The firefighter standard school, which is rookie schools, where one of our uh, new employees is at right now. They should graduate on March the 2nd. Fire department will be hosting three classes in 2018. One is the Corps Rescue in March, uh, Trench Rescue in May, and then the National Fire Academy class in September. Expect approximately 90 to 100 individuals from across the state and other areas that will be attending those classes. Uh, Chief Broden brought us up to date on where we are with collection agencies. Four have been recommended to the commission, which will be bringing those to administration for consideration and hopefully approval before we can get with the city attorney and get the ordinance drafted. The biracial committee had met. The EMS collections as of February 13th was 29378 There were three grants that have been applied for. One was $550,000 for a pumper truck. One was for 10000 for safety and prevention classes. And then one for 24000 to replenish the turnouts. That concludes the report. All right, moving on, uh, public works. Yes, sir. Public Works met on February the 6th. We reviewed the uh, bridge, the bids for the Hino Bridge rehabilitation. The bids came in above estimate, and the city share will increase approximately $48,000. We're splitting this, the cost of this project, the match portion of it, with the city of Marion. Um, we agreed to accept the low bid of $818,907.70 by Chris Hill Construction. We uh, made this approval uh, with the understanding that the, MP the Metropolitan Planning Organization would approve increasing the federal portion of the project. Outside of the public works meeting this past Tuesday, the Metropolitan Planning Organization did agree to increase the funding to cover the increase in cost. For recycling in January, there were 13,900 pounds and one e-waste pickup. Um, on the south loop, we've received the design engineering contract to back to implement. They're working to do some work at the city shop break room including painting, flooring, and the restrooms. They're working with the administration to implement that. Under the dumpsters, we've ordered tags to leave on dumpsters notifying a customer why we couldn't service their dumpsters, such as if they had put in construction materials in their dumpster, so that they know why it was left. Uh, as you know, uh, the police departments enlisting all of their patrolmen to work on code enforcement. During the month of January, they issued 140 notices at 103 residences regarding abandoned vehicles. They gave these residents a list of wrecker services that would assist in hauling the vehicles away. Uh, the police also presented uh, some recommendations of changes to the fee schedule so that violations could be meaningful uh, when they were taken to court. Uh, the city plans to apply for state aid to repair roads. We've never applied for this money before. Now they are doing uh, larger cities, so the uh, Public Works is going to apply for this funding. That concludes my report. Okay. Moving on. Oh, uh, excuse me. I didn't ask Ms. Robinson no, I, I, if she I'm had good. anything. No, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, is there uh, a personnel committee met? So okay. I'll give you real quick. Briefing on the personnel committee, which met on the 7th, and the, I'm sorry, um, the committee revisited the catastrophic lead plan. Janice Coleman gave, um, or actually she gathered more financial information from other cities. Uh, the committee will 
look at this again as we are preparing to look at a plan that will meet um, the criteria for what we're trying to do and we'll do that at the next meeting. The committee also discussed providing a, providing a health membership to all city employees through the Works Fitness Center as an employee perk for, work, for working for the uh, city of West Memphis. Again, Ms. Coleman will gather more information. You just get right on down. <laughs> okay? Okay. That's okay. Um, again, Ms. Janice will gather more information on that, and we will follow up with that information. Lastly, we looked at medical and vision insurance um, that was discussed. Feedback will be given. The insurance committee will also discuss what Ms. Coleman has looked at and received at the next meeting, and that concludes that report. Thank okay. you. Moving on, utility. Uh, the utilities met um, on February the 8th, and uh, the uh, safety report was two injuries, uh, two recordables, no lost time for the month of January. Uh, General Manager Todd Peterson um, stated that they had four resignations for the month of January. Two were voluntary and two were involuntary, but they also added uh, three new employees. Uh, he also uh, talked about the online bill uh, pay update and the cutoff is being moved from 2 a.m. in the morning to noon, I mean, till midnight uh, because of some accounting and posting issues. Uh, and the tree trimming plan um, for the city over the next four years, uh, he presented the map showing the rotation of the uh, tree trimming uh, neighborhoods as they, as they move forward. So that concludes my report. Okay, uh, police did decide we, we won't give right. the police. I'll, I'll go ahead. It was very, very short. The police commission uh, met. We elected officers. The chair is Councilman Monday, and secretary is Ms. Robinson. Okay, that's the report. Yes, sir. That's okay. very short. Well, thank you. Well, while you're at it, how about the airport? The airport commission met this morning. I was late the lights ride. I was driving all over town trying to find gas. But we met this morning. I was not in attendance for the actual meetings, but Commissioner Crooms stated that he received two, was there this morning, and stated that he received two complaints regarding the hangar restroom in the south, on the south side of the airport. It's not working. It was reported that this was looked into several years ago and it was not cost effective to repair. Right now the uh, manager is currently looking at some different alternatives to get the issue resolved. That ends my report. Okay. According to my record, that completes the committee commission report. Have I missed any? Have no appointments. Have two people signed up for citizens' requests. Ms. Fisher, are you here? Ms. Fisher. I don't see her. But Ms. Williams. Jo Josie Williams. Ms. Josie Williams. Uh, are you here? Neither one of them are here, so we'll move on there. That concludes the items on our agenda. Is there anything else today? Mr. Parr? Yeah. Go ahead, James. Okay, on the, uh, because I know the weather is still been raining and everything. Uh, do we have a start date when we're going to actually start working on the roof on the center? Have you been looking at the I don't have it uh, because I haven't been here this week, so I don't know. Okay, I'll just send it to you because of course what he has now just Paul, because he said they were waiting. I can find out. James, uh, Mr. Pulliam, you could call uh, Delta Roofing and they could tell you when they're going to do it. Okay, I'm fine. I'm just wondering what we, anything in motion because someone had asked the person today and I just want to start it. Anything else? Make a motion with adjourn. Second. All in favor, by aye. 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 I suppose we are adjourned. <laughs>